Hello, everybody. Sucros here. Today we're going to play the Long Dark. Um, let's see. Stoop. And. Um, let's see. Where were we? So, we had explored a potential way of getting out of this region without having to climb ropes. It seems like it's a little too arduous. I think uh, that's fair to say. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get ready to go. Um, leave this really quite nice town behind. Uh, this is such a fantastic house. Of course, it's, it's got wolves like everywhere, but got all, this, all the space and whatnot. So, what we carry is going to be a thing. All right, so I'm talking to this, you know, half for me, because uh, I don't, I haven't really thought through this too much except for basics. So, we're going to be leaving the same way we came in. We're going to head to the cabin on the lake and stay there for a couple of days, regroup. But then I think I want to head through the dam, the hydroelectric uh, power plant, uh, into Pleasant Valley. We have never, uh, I must have taken it before, but I don't really remember it. But I, I looked up how to get to Timberwolf Mountain and I saw, oh, there's actually a an entrance from Mystery Lake. So we'll go through there, head through Pleasant Valley to Timberwolf Mountain. It's kind of a trek, right? This is a ways to go. And then uh, <clears throat> Pleasant Valley, I mean, in, uh, in uh, Timberwolf Mountain, I have no idea. That'll be, could, could very well be where we die. Could be that we, uh, it's but like we did with Hushed, Hushed River, Hushed River Valley, I believe. Is the name. Um, so that's the big plan. That's the big idea, the big goal. We've got. Oh, we actually managed to read this. We've got an absurd amount of stuff here. Just fantastically ridiculous how much stuff. Uh, and I, I'm not going to try to carry it all. I think the idea will be, um, you know, if we ever need it, we'll come back to it. We'll go to Timberwolf Mountain. That may be where we die. If we don't die, we have to decide if we even want to keep playing this character. Like, we might just retire her. Say that she she won the game, she survived. Uh, otherwise, you know, we can come back here and get all this stuff. Okay, so then the question is, what do we carry? Well, I'll tell you, we're not going to carry the mountain road. We're not going to... I think we've got a rifle. God, I hope I hope we do. I think we have a rifle back in uh, Mr. Lake. Let me go ahead. Uh, is there anything we want to do while we're here? We don't have. I don't think we have any arrowheads. So I can't actually make arrows. One thing we could do is just make another bow, a nice bow, and then leave this one behind. Um, but I, I don't even remember. Maybe we have a maybe we have another nice bow back at the, at the 
place. At all. Let's be ready. Hold on one second. Um, it's, it's, it's going to be tough. Let's look at all this amazingly fantastic gear we've got. Um, I might wind up having to just just leave most. Extra clothes. Oh, it's it's gonna kill me. It's really gonna kill me. Luckily, we found the moose moose uh, etc., uh, which gives us quite a bit. More than we came in. But... My God! Like I, even if we, even if we wanted to carry all of these saplings, I don't know how we'd be able to. Um. All right, well, I think we'll be a little bit bold. Uh, and like we did when we left Rosh River Valley, um, I'll just repair everything up to above 90 so that we don't have to carry that stuff. Do we? Okay, we have a little bit of that. Let's so take that too. So I'll start by repairing stuff. That'll that makes some amount of sense. It does take gut? Well, it takes twenty-two minutes. Hey, Sam Cam, what's up, man? All right. And I think we've got some clothes we can tear down for leather. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find it. We've only got one. Let's see what we've got in the storage here. Yeah, a couple gloves. So I might even repair the moose hide satchel, even though it's at almost uh, 90. So, uh, yeah, we're heading out of this place, Samarkam, and going eventually to Timberwolf Mountain. So I've got to go through and figure out what I want to bring. Which is kind of a, kind of a difficult decision. We have so much stuff here. Boy, that takes hours. Good lord. Equipment's making new, though. Okay. Cool, man. Well, this is going to be... Uh, it's going to be pretty chill for a while. I'm basically going to be kicking around the house for... Maybe one more day, and then we'll head out, uh, you know, on a fairly known path back to back out of this valley. Yeah, northern Canada. I always turn my AC on high when I play so that uh, it feels authentic. <laughs> uh, 
All right, we're getting pretty tired. It's in the middle of the day, which is kind of stupid, but. All right, so we repaired our boots. Yeah, exactly. Um, just like the pioneers who live in the frozen tundra, my room is colder than 70 degrees. Uh, we have more, a bit more cloth than I can carry. So we'll just keep repairing stuff. Beautiful. And I'm even going to do these pants, even though they're only 15%. I think we're going to be too tired to repair. Um, so I'll probably have to, probably have to go to sleep before I can repair these. But let's see what else we can do tonight. We can break these down. Um, uh, yeah, I'll just head to bed. So we've been in this, uh, in this life, in this playthrough, we've been to every zone except for one. Um, and that's a zone I've never been to. And it's supposed to be hard. I'm really looking forward to it because... It should be exciting. I'm not sure if we're going to get there today, but I'm going to try. Yeah, my goal is to get to Timberwolf and then climb the mountain and find the crash plane. Um, and then we'll decide if we want to make another character or not. <clears throat> but... Uh, like I said, I don't know that area should be should be a challenge. Um, but I do know how to get there. So at least we've got that going for us. We're also about as kited out as you can possibly or kitted out. Kited kitted out. Probably kitted. Sun's coming up. Great time. So let's get some deer and gut. Yeah, deck down. Deck down in the nines. Um, we've got really nice, really nice clothes. Really nice tools. Ooh, sounds pretty rough out there. Luckily, we're going to be staying in today. Using up as much stuff as we can before we get Brand spanking new deer pants. I'm um, even going to do them inside satchel. I hate to lose this thing. Actually, you know what? I think I'll save it. I, sh I hope it doesn't go from uh, 87 to 0 in one bolt attack. Uh, uh, flash, flash forward, flash back to when this uh, is a bad decision. <clears throat> but yeah, the, I'll carry the piece of cured leather. It's kind of hard to come by. Oh, not harvest. I don't want to do that. Sewing kit. That's 0.22 pounds we don't have to carry. How fantastic. Alright. What else have we got? That really, that's super overkill, but you know, wolf, wolf and gut are just are renewable. 
So I'm not just not gonna worry about it. We're we're gonna spin, spin, spin. Nothing's gonna nothing's gonna kill us because we're gonna be nice and safe. <laughs> yeah, actually somebody I think it was during this this playthrough somebody told me that if you put something that's broken in the track or in anywhere in any thing it disappears and uh, so yeah it just it kind of is nice to put it in the trash and have it disappear it almost it almost behaves like it should all right this is pretty ridiculous but I'm gonna repair, repair these things I think this will probably be the last thing I repair them Um, it's our skill. Ooh, man, it's going to take a long time to get to five. All right, let's start with clothes. Let's go ahead and start filling up our inventory. Um, so basically, I'm going to take things that are really rare and really nice. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'll I'll leave these. They're so heavy. That that's pretty nice. But I think we have more. Let's leave it. Let's try not to be pack rats. It's, it's totally against my nature to leave it. But I know we have so much stuff to, to carry, so. Alright. So that's not going to be cured at the time. Let's see if any of these have bullets. I, I don't think they do, but. Limited skins, like uh, random chests. We've got a, we've got a pound of feathers, which is heavier. Pound of feathers. Um, ba, 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 let's see. So, arrow shafts, the stress pistol. I just I don't like it. I, it's supposed to be good, but I just don't like it. It would scare off a moose. I think. Hey, Doug. What's up, man? Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, we've got a lot of junk, and we've got to carry. We've got to carry as much as we can off uh, out of this valley. Try to ride on the moose. Yeah, that's not going to turn out well. Um, all right, so I'm gonna start carrying. Let's see. Do we need? I don't. I don't think we need a lantern. Um, I think I left one in the cave. Should we able to build a sled? Oh, that would be so nice. Yeah. Um, we have to go down a rope and then up another rope. It would be, it would be nice if we could just throw things off the cliff too. But, uh, the developers just don't understand the plight of a pack rat. Or maybe they do. Okay, so herbal tea, I mean, whatever. Now, here's where we're really going to start dying. I've got 367 cattail stalks. And I, my heart, the, the, the name of the stream is Cattail Love, Cattail Heart. 
I said, just don't want to throw them away, but... I, I mean, look at this. I've got... Okay, where is it? A cabinet. 33 pounds of cattail stalks. I can't, I can't carry it. There's just no way. Um, well, you, it would be nice if you could, like, rappel down the cliff. And instead of, like, free climbing the rope, I feel like that would be a lot easier. For some reason, she's just not a good climber. Oh my god, so we're we're overweight. We're overweight. And I haven't even picked up anything. <sighs> wow. Um this is gonna be it's gonna be kinda hard. All right, we, we're definitely going to take the matches. I'll take the magnifying lens. I mean, maybe it takes, maybe. It's just so light. Maybe it makes sense to leave, like, pack here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've only got one. I've only got one stick. I always walk around with one stick because, um, it's a lucky stick. Uh, you can use it to build a fire. Uh, and, and I can drop it if I need to, if I need the weight. I can drop it anywhere. Um, okay, so medicine. I feel like we should carry. Oh my god. The medicine. How, how is this going to be possible? We might have to take two trips up and down the road. It's crazy. Let's just hope I forgot to drop something heavy. Uh, let's, I never use water purification. Let's leave that. Okay. I, I want to take some cooking pots. We don't have any cooking pots elsewhere, elsewhere in the world. These things are four pounds each. I know, Doug. I know. Don't uh, don't fat shame me. Uh, I know. I know. I got. I don't know what to drop. Though. All right. Hold on. I'm, first step is pick up everything I want. Second step is drop what I don't need. It's like a. It's like a process. Um. It's a process. We actually don't have much cloth back at. Uh, I carry five pieces. We're at 90 pounds. Okay, let's let's see what might go back. Um, I, honestly, I think it's just going to have to be food. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, why don't I need any food but cattails? It's 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 almost it's like a hyper optimization because the other food goes bad, so I should eat it first. And the cattails will always be here um, if I come back, but this this stuff decays. Um, some of this doesn't actually. S crackers don't decay. Um, that might be the only one. I think crackers, sodas, sodas decay. I'm not sure. I don't think crackers decay, but most food decays. Eighty-eight pounds, huh? Is that Kava Bob Ross? What is that? It's a. It's a 
We're about to make a couple half mistakes down the side of the cliff. Captain Ross, that is it. I I knew him by the throat. All right, let's see if let's see if we can use up. This is ridiculous, but I'm gonna try to use up a whetstone by repairing these tools. Oh, not that one. Um, this is gonna make me feel good. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's gonna make me feel good. So let me do it. Leave me alone. Just let me be. Some people on the forums insisted that your tools sharpness matters when you fight wolves. And then somebody tested it, and it appears that it does not matter. Which is kind of kind of sad, but it's also kind of nice. You don't have to worry about it too much. That's what my father always said, using a dull knife. It's one of the most dangerous things you can do. Um, I think you just like sharpening knives. <laughs> Trying to convince my mother that uh, I, I needed a sharp, you know, um, a sharp knife to go out into the woods with because I don't know boy boy stuff I guess I don't know but uh, I had a sharp what do you call them Swiss Army Swiss Army knife <clears throat> oh man I really did used to carry a little knife around all the time as a kid. Um, cutting down branches and stuff. What I really needed was a saw, because I wasn't interested in whittling. I wanted to cut down trees. Uh, where is that whetstone? Come on, whetstone, where are you? All right, that's 0.22 pounds we don't have to carry, guys. Uh, this works. This is working really well. What are we at? 85 pounds? Okay. All right. Let's do... Let's do an analysis here. All sort of by weight. We've got seven, almost eight pounds of lichen. Can you imagine just carrying around eight pounds of lichen? Um... I think the best thing to do is we'll put some of, some of each back. I think that makes that makes the most sense. So let's put back. Let's try fifteen. Let's put back. Uh, oh, you can't hold this down. I have to click every time. Twenty-five of those bad boys. Seventy-eight and. Okay, we're technically underweight now. I know it's the, it's a micro optimization for sure, but it just it makes me feel good. And this, you know, I play games to have fun. So, um, all right, hey, we're underweight. So now the question is, what can we trade to pick up? Um, God, I really want a cooking pot. We we don't have any cooking pots anywhere else. They introduced that patch um, after we had already searched things. So I'm not even sure if they're going to be there. Sharpening tools diet really helped. I would love a cooking pot just for making water. That's that's four pounds. So right back over. I think one is justifiable. I won't carry any more though. Um. I think we're good enough at making fires now. And this is this is not a big deal. It's 0.22 pounds, but I'm not going to carry the accelerant. I, I never use it. Um, 
sometimes, I, I mean, the only, I don't think we need it, but whatever, 0.22 pounds. Okay, I'm trying to let go, I'm trying to let go. No, I don't need that many matches, but they're really light. Like all these matches together are maybe two, two pounds. Actually. All right, I'll get rid of the, the wood matches. I'll get rid of another half a pound. Oh, here's a really small thing that'll do do us about a pound. We'll switch to this sweater. So when you're when you're wearing it, it actually uh, takes less weight. So yeah, we've got two two point two pounds in pack. 22 pounds worn. Uh, don't really have a whole lot of extra stuff. I'm, I'm probably going to carry. I'm not going to drop any of that, though. This is our survival gear. And we'll definitely want it for going to Timberwolf. Uh, I have 50. Still have 50 of these. Now, 50 of these is... So each one's 150, 150, 15,000, 7,000 calories, right? So that's about, that's not, that's, that's like a week or half a week or something. I don't know. She eats more depending on how strenuous. Um, so I think it's like half a week. It's, it's really not that much food. But... Why is this so hard? If we wanted to carry all this stuff out, I think the way to do it is to like pile it all up on the ropes and then do um, like circuits where you strip off everything and carry as much down as you can. I'm not going to do it. It's just going to be boring and I don't want to do it. Uh, if we wind up deciding to keep playing this character, I'll do it off screen or something. Ah, we had, uh... Oh, actually, this is something I learned. So, we learned this last time. The, for whatever reason, it gains weight by turning lichen into dressing. So don't Turn like and into dressing. Um, I don't know. I don't remember that. I don't remember. Um, so what we can do, we, we have 41. That's 30? No. 10. It's, it's less than it's less than 15. Um, but see how light it is? We'll just keep, we'll put more of these away. Let's put like, let's keep just the ones that we want to use. Oh yeah, 74 pounds, easy peasy. Hey pal, what's up man? We are in the process of Kicking rocks, as Delvina says. Um, making like a banana and splitting. I'm not sure if that joke carries over well to German. Do you have banana splits in Germany, pal? All right, 
right, yeah, we're, we're two pounds under. I'm very happy with this. So now what else can we pick up? Oh, we have to pick up the bearskin bedroll. We have to carry that. Um, that's like six pounds. So I'm going to I'm gonna use this hide and repair it. I think, I think that makes sense. Ice cafe? I don't know what that is. Um, make like a banana and split is the joke because split is a pun um, meaning to leave and a banana split. You split the banana. It's, I mean, it's not like a very good joke, but it's just something people say. It's like, see you later, alligator. After a while, crock, crock. It's just some silly thing people say. Um, where tools? Yeah. Actions. Repair. Um, we're going to be wasting this black bear hide. The, alternatively, we could carry the black bear hide, but it's two pounds. And uh, it's just too much. I, I can keep talking about uh, crocodiles, bananas, alligators, all I want. But I can't think of any more puns, so I, I'm stopping. All right, so now that we've picked up this nearly seven pound sleeping bag, now I have to drop uh, five more pounds. Let's see. Let's make sure there's nothing else we want to pick up here. All this, um, all right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one maple sapling to make a new bow. We'll do that back in the camp office, I think. We should really just do it here. What's the difference between a poorly dressed man on the unicycle and a well dressed man on a bicycle? A tire. That's that's really good. I I don't know if I've heard that. One. If I have, it's been a long time. That sounds like a joke. Uh, like third graders say. That's really good though. Yeah, pale. I mean, no matter what, how big. Our backpack is. I'm gonna fill it up. We've got, we've got an 11 pound bonus, but we're trying to, we're trying to take everything we've gotten from these two maps and bring it back with us, and it's just too much stuff. Um, I think that like the the smart thing to do would be to make a new boat, and maybe even to break down the arrows. Um, I'm going to carry them over there and see if it makes sense in terms of reducing the weight. So we'll see what the weight of one sapling is. I might be able to figure it out here. Um, So it's 0.33 for three, uh, if this is correct. And then, Jesus Christ, do I really need a calculator? 5.72 divided by 13. 0.44. So it is lighter by 25%, I think. Oh, that's pretty good. I googled how to start a wildfire. I got 
48,500 matches. It's pretty good. Uh, the one I always liked as a kid was, how do you build a sandcastle in only five seconds? <laughs> I'm so bad with jokes because they just kill me. You, you use quicksand. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to head over. I'll just move all those over. For now, we're going to go over to the barn and we're going to. Make a little bit of stuff here. And because I'm <clears throat> I never learn from my mistakes, I'm gonna carry meat with me. What a pretty afternoon. Okay, straight over. I'd hope by now we'd have eradicated the wolf population, but we keep coming back. Honestly, it would really be nice if you could kill them all. That would be satisfying. I feel a bit like a monster saying that, but uh, I wouldn't be so mean if they didn't try to eat me. This will be the last thing we do. After this, I'll pack up and um, we'll head out. Once we get going, it should be painless. Nature hater. Yeah, I'd cut down the trees if I could. That's that's actually true too. It's, sometimes you need wood. Wasn't there a wolf who left? If I were smart, I would have dropped all my stuff, including the sleeping bag and all this nonsense, and taken off the moose hide. But I'm not smart. I'm impatient. Impetuous. With a... Oh, he's coming for me. With a penchant for micro-optimization. So there's a wolf coming. Over there, you can smell me. Oh, he's scared. Let's head to the house. Drop the meat. He's up on that thing. Whew. It's it's completely berserk how far away they can see you when you have me. Uh, and the the confidence with which he runs to you is just it's just weird. I don't know. It doesn't... I don't... It's not a pleasant game again. Stick up my bow out. There he is. Right there. I'm 
consult on that might be too insecure to chase him. He actually ran away. Maybe you're right, Sam. So we'll make a bow. Hopefully the wolf doesn't eat us. It's it's a it's an aurora. Which uh no good. So instead of risking going to the house, I'm I'm scared enough by these uh, Aurora infused wolves that I'm gonna hop in this little uh backo or whatever it is. Tractor. It's not a tractor. Maybe it is. And um we'll try to sleep through it and then we'll head to the house. Playing cautious, cautious. Sometimes. It's kind of weird. The things that I feel need to be done cautiously, and then I just throw it all away and run towards a wolf carrying meat. It's over. But I actually, I can't even see the house. It's warm enough. I don't see why I need to go outside. God, yeah, the breath. Breath used to be much worse. They actually toned it down. I, I've i always gotten the impression that they don't actually play their own game. Like, they, they probably played it once a while back, and they were like, oh, this is pretty cool. And now they, they're like, I know how it goes. Uh, I know how it works. I don't need to play it again. Um, but it used to be so bad when you were indoors and it was cold. Uh, the, the, especially when the light wasn't very bright. You couldn't see anything. Alright, let's have breakfast and then I'll make some more, uh, make some arrows. Well, I can't make arrows, I make arrow shafts. <clears throat> and when we, when we run out of water, I'll, I'll head back. So let's, uh, let's test my division here. Okay, 0.44. So I think it's I think it does save space to turn them into shafts. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, Weird 
you can't choose which bow. Because I have two bows. I want to use the shitty one while they're still here. Can you smell it on my breath? Like, what the heck? Why? I'm not, I'm not holding any meat. What's with the move? Where, why? Um, basically, to make things interesting, uh, we've got enough food and supplies to just sit in in the house up uh, where we came from for like months and i don't think that would be a very interesting stream i mean it would be boring for me too so um we're going to carry the important stuff that we can and we're going to go explore the last map that we have yet to explore which is um uh, timberwolf mountain it's supposed to be one of the harder maps um there's no indoor areas but there are sort of like broken down houses that you can sleep at it's just not considered indoors so you don't get uh, temperature buffs and stuff like that but it is shielded from the wind so in that sense it's not as hard as hush river valley that we played last week but um it's, it should be pretty brutal Cabin fever the game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm feeling a bit cabin feverish. So, uh, um, but you know, it's the same in real life too. I've, I've always found that the best times I've had with friends or, you know, just hanging out and doing stuff were when we made up some goal and then just went through the process of trying to go through the goal. So we used to do this thing where uh, my friend had a GPS back before people had phones with, with GPS on them, and we would just pick a pick a pick a point, like thirty five comma sixty three or whatever, and we would just go there and see what's there, and it's just like a little. Maybe that's a weird thing to do. I mean, I think that is a weird thing to do, but it's just kind of interesting. I don't know. I hope they're patching some interesting late game items. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I really like the idea of a shack. I want to leave some permanent mark on the land. Like at this point, if it were, even if it were really painstaking, I feel like I've got six axes. Let me chop down some trees. Let me, let me build like a, like a lean to or something to protect me from the wind. I don't know. Make something permanent. Let's see if let's see if the wolf is gone. Okay, he's he's over there to the right, so it should be fine. Okay, we've got such nice clothes, this weather doesn't have anything on us. So this is totally a micro optimization. Each each one of these arrow shafts saves us 0. 0.11 pounds. But you know what? I don't give a shit. This is what I'm doing. It's my game. My rules. Yeah, really. Clicking clicking these buttons. Um. 
when I started playing this game, Pale came on and watched for a little while and said, uh, this is a real boring game <laughs> to play on stream. Uh, and I, I still, I agree with him. But it's kind of like playing a roguelike. It's all this process means that when I'm really being attacked by a wolf, it means so much. Because it means all this I'd have to do over again. Um, because of permadeath. Yeah, I've heard of people doing that. Taking fights with wolves. Yeah, if you take your clothes off, you're not even in danger of losing pieces of clothing. Alright. All right, so maybe we'll leave tomorrow, actually. I think we've done everything. I'm going to eat and then head back to the house. It's kind of dangerous, though. The weapons really help. Um, but, of course, you know, they eventually wear down, too. All right. We've eaten all the meat. We've gotten all the arrow shafts. This was 5.5 something, so we, we saved some weight. Let's head back and uh, finish packing. Four wheels circling your house. Where were you living? Um, Coastal Highway? Yeah, the gas station is terrible. If it was there, I really like staying at the gas station when I have the wolves turn to passive, but I, I don't. I couldn't do it in this difficulty. It's too too many wolves. <clears throat> too many wolves. Too many wolves. Yeah. Um, we went over there a couple of times on this playthrough, and the first time we didn't see a single wolf. But the second time we almost died. We got attacked by, I think, three wolves in a row. Bad at this game. No, I think, I think, I think it's just a hard place to be. Um, we've, for the most part, tried to avoid wolves until, until much later. Apparently we weren't very rested sleeping on a tractor. Oh man, all those noises creep me out. That's the only bad part about this place. Loot heaven, yeah. Lots and lots and lots of clothes. Um, tools. Mostly clothes. I mean, this would be a great place to start. I think the same is true for 
coastal highway, there's a lot of little uh, small cabins and stuff. All right. The idea is maybe we leave tomorrow. So All right. So let's deal with what we just did. So we're going to leave this shitty bow behind. Uh, we've got all these arrow shafts that we're going to carry with us. Probably don't even need to carry all of these arrow shafts because we don't have this many arrowheads and we're not going to do an arrowhead run. So I will carry fewer. Okay. And These whetstones, we're not going to be able to use them up, so I'll leave those tools as they are. Probably should have turned a couple of these guts into string, line, because it's incredibly light. But I didn't, and I'm not going to now. I think we'll leave... I think we'll leave all but one of the maples. I'm actually thinking about taking the rabbit belt. It's it's really light. We don't have much of it, I don't think, back at that next place. Um, what's what am I forgetting? Too, it's too heavy. So I could really save some weight by getting rid of some of these tools. Yeah, actually, we're underweight. I'm just tired. So maybe we'll... Oh yeah, I dropped this crock pot. Did I drop anything else? Uh, before we went to the... to the barn? I know I dropped the pot, but I don't think I dropped anything else. Alright, I'm going to pick up the accelerant. Uh, I, I don't know whether we have a hacksaw back there. I don't know whether we have a hacksaw. I think we ha I think we have a hacksaw back at the uh, lodge. Yeah, I know, but now I'm just going back with everything I said. It's all rationalization. Um... So, I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. Maybe it's still too early. Let's see what else we have on the floor. Let's just pick up the, the cured stuff and put it in the shelf at least. Uh, we'll, we'll head to sleep early, and then we'll get a early start. And say goodbye to this place. It's served us well. take some of these yeah I think I'll do I'll do that I'll take that and that I I don't I hope she doesn't get too tired to tear things apart look at that two cured leather 
Beautiful. This is perfect use of our time. And look at that, only one cured leather in boots. That doesn't make any sense. Must be a metric thing. All right, I think it's late enough. Oh, I dropped the cattails. Was wear effect harvest? Maybe. That would make sense based on what we just saw, right? Those boots were like 40. That would make sense. Okay. So now I'm going to try to envision this route. So we go over towards the convenience store. We go back behind it, down the road. I think we hug the left wall. There should be a cave. Another rope going up. Hug the right wall. And we get to Trapper's Cabin. Oh. And a blizzard starts. Stay. I, I probably am not going to go out in the blizzard, mostly because of the snow. Let's take a look. Good lord, yeah. Like, we're not even that cold if we stay out of the wind. But we'd be, we'd be getting wet, and it would be bad news pretty quick. Um... So that's okay, we'll just take a little more time. Let's uh, we're at eighty one pounds. Oh yeah, okay. Alright, gotta put this stuff away. So cured wolf pelts and the cured wolf pelt drawer. Seventy nine. Honestly, let's get rid of some of these feathers. I know that <laughs> it's not very heavy, but uh, every little bit counts. This cured leather, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep. All right, and then saplings, saplings. So we'll bring one maple for another bow. I don't think we need the bird sap, but we'd, we'd pick up sticks instead. I mean, uh, shafts. So here's what's worrying me. I'm not sure where all this weight came from, because I dumped off the food. I don't have any cattails, and yet I'm overweight. So where did that weight come from? I guess from the shafts. I don't... So I was I was keeping the lantern fuel to use for the lantern going to that cave back to Mr. Lake, but uh, I, maybe we don't need it. Got shafted. I 
kids just don't even know. I guess I'll, I'll, I guess I'll give up a hatchet. Um, note to sell. Come back to Milton if you ever need a hatchet. So that puts us under, that puts us a couple pounds under, which is nice. Oh, it sounds like it stopped. It's still blowing up. Hey, that sounds pretty good. All right, are we ready? I think we're ready. Goodbye, house. Goodbye, moon. Ah, it's actually colder than it was, but the, the wind's actually coming from this direction. It's pretty chilly. Okay, let's give it another hour. Um, I forgot the cattails anyway, so I've got to get the cattails. Got to get rid of this meat. And all the rest of that meat, you know, boy, that that we didn't eat a whole lot of that bear. I feel a little bit wasteful. I don't. I don't want to leave. I feel like we're safe here. If we leave, we're going to die. Um, but it, it's adventure we see, so. Oh, we, we did a nice little trick with this coffee. We drank only part of it, so we still have a coffee to get the bonus. Three. Let's just, um, let's leave this and we'll drop we can drop a piece of wood or something to go down the road if we need to. I'm thinking about how we're going to get wet, and that's going to make us heavier. But this is this is not good weather. go just down the street. So creepy. Didn't get a whole lot of wet wetness. That's that's good, but it's there. Well, I think we've ransacked this whole town. Um, but yeah, I'll pop up and take in that little nap. And then hopefully that'll... Okay, there's no bed here. Uh, nice house. Don't even have a bed.
Come on, come on, come on. Shit weather. If we have to wait much longer, I don't think we're going to be able to go down the roads today. We'll have to sleep in that gas station. Let's give it another hour. Sounds like another blizzard. Stop snowing at least. What is that, Wolf? God damn it. It's a wolf right there. Hey, caveman. I don't have any meat. I am meatless. So I'm going to be stealthy. Oh, shit, it's another wolf. All right, forget stealth. I'm going to be swift, like the wind against our backs. looted this place too, but I'm just going to pop in here to have a little snack, try to, you know, get some of this weight down. A little nip. Have you ever heard drinking, drinking alcohol referred to as raising of the wrist. Heard that over there, I like that. The wolf's teeth, the wolf's teeth against her back? No! The wolf doesn't have anything on us. So we go out, we go up to the little thing. I'm actually not sure what direction it's in. I think it's straight-ish. Problem is the wolves. Good lord. Friendly fauna. All right, it's noon, so I'll probably continue on here. Okay. Um, and maybe we'll sleep in the cave tonight. Wolf proof equals wolfless. Yeah, I'm wolf proof when there's no wolves around. Alright. So I was thinking of staying here tonight, but it's it's still early enough I think we can push on. But I've gotta get rid of three pounds. So sleep in a cave every night? Huh. Do you get good Wi Fi? So, 
I I really am loath to drop my piece of cedar because I feel like if there's a storm that'll save us. But we need three pounds. That's probably stupid, but whatever. That's only point nine. It's impossible. It's completely impossible. Okay, here we go. This is how we came in, and this is how we go out. I'm, I, I really want to pick up that stick. <laughs> I think that might put us over. All right. Hey, look. That's the lake that we explored, I think, the other night. I think. Let's see, let's see if we recognize anything. Let's go down there. So this is one of the, I think, more dangerous routes in the game. Uh, you've got these two climbs, and then there's pretty much nothing here. Luckily, we've got a sleeping bag. And in fact, to go up this rope, we left ourselves wood and an additional sleeping bag, which we'll, we'll carry to the other road. Yeah, what's it like sleeping in a cave? Cave man. Um, so I think what we're on is a shelf that lives below Mountain Town, but also above where we were last week. So this is where we were last week. We almost died in a blizzard right there. Um, there's an exit to right there. There's an exit to uh, the swamp. But I think, I think there's no way uh, to get from here there. There's a rock as a pillow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like a rock, while I guess it would keep your head off the ground, is pretty much the worst possible pillow being that it's not soft. Um, but, it, you know, it might keep you from getting a crick in your neck. Hello is a defined object. Definitions are pretty hard to come by. Like, What's the definition of bachelor? This is the classic example. What's what's the definition of bachelor? Uh, an unmarried man. What about, you know, an 80-year-old widower?
All right. It's early enough that I'm actually tempted to keep going. But this is the cave that would be a really nice place to stay. Uh, I think this is where we'll leave... Ooh, it's actually almost about to die. What do you think? What do you guys think? I'll do, uh, I'll do whatever chat's consensus is. We'll stay here for tonight, which I think is the conservative approach. It, weather's looking kind of rough. Uh, or we'll climb up the rope and try to make it to the, uh, to the next cave tonight. Duck says sleep. The cave is cozy bed. We've got two conservative plays, okay. Um, I'm all for that. So... Wow, you all really don't want to see me die. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought that you'd, you'd want me to do the risky thing. I'm really surprised. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but it's not as exciting. I'm, I'm, I thought for sure you were going to all tell me to do the risky thing. Well, we've been to this. We're going home. We're going back. So we've been to this new area, San uh, We actually started in the area that we're going to. It's, it's Mystery Lake. All right. Well, we'll stay here tonight. So... What I'll do then is just uh, drop the wood. And then we'll take a look around. You're safe rather than risky. Yeah. All right. No, no worries. We will play it safe. Uh, I'm not going to resist looking around, though, but we'll head back here to sleep for the night. <clears throat> so, essentially, I know that if we follow that cliff face, we'll find the rope. Um, so let's look out over here. I'm really curious if there's a way to get down here. Like, maybe there's a rope or a rock that we have to tie a rope to. It would almost be a missed opportunity if they didn't let you get there. But yeah, that arch carries you to the swamp. Um... Boy, this weather looks awfully ominous, doesn't it? Look how fast the clouds are going. Falls. Well, game over. <laughs> that went through my mind, too, Doug. It, it's kind of... It's kind of crazy how precarious... Uh, I was thinking, what if, what if my hand just kind of shoots out, you know? Yeah, that's the falls, where there's a truck. Um, cool. Well, we've really... I feel like we've really explored this whole map now. We've got... We've got this map under our belts, for sure. What is that? A rock? Oh, it's, it's the sign. That rock, it's coming right for me. <clears throat> You might want to think about making water, but then again, oh shit, look at this. I bet you can get down from here if you take if you take this slowly. 
I bet you can get down from here. Not gonna do it. I don't wanna be there. But it's kind of weird you can't get up. Alright, there's uh, this home. Nice little rabbits. If I find some stones, maybe we'll uh, catch some rabbit tonight. Oh my god, another hatchet. This game, it really wants me to, to be full. Somehow we missed this corpse. I, I remember why now. We actually came here in the dead of night. It was uh, pitch black and we stumbled in that cave. I spent an hour trying to drop stuff. And, uh, and now I can't stop picking stuff up. That's how it goes, though. Okay. Has anybody seen any rocks? I don't want to waste an arrow on a rabbit. This one rocks. The more I pick up guys. The more I pick up, the less I'll need. Pale, we have to eat. You don't want me to eat these uh, poor defenseless cattails, do you? Why do you hate cats so much? Pale, what do you have against cats? I don't understand why Pale hates cats so much. I don't have canned food. I don't have canned food. All I have are 60 cattails. And uh, these energy bars. You don't want me to eat an energy bar, do you? Jeez. I, I, I'm to the right every time. I mean, let's let's face it, Pale. He's got it coming. Like, look at the way he's looking at me. To the right. Come on. Just use the rifle. I'm actually not carrying a rifle. I could shoot him with the um, bow and arrow. But uh, I think that would be a waste of an arrow. Oh shit, I just threw it at the ground trying to pick up another one. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Oops, I didn't even aim. Give me a rock. Oops. Sorry, Pale. Look away. Look away now.
All right. I think we're done out here. Go in the cave, make fire, and... <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. I told you. I told you to look away. <coughs> um, now comes the fun part. Yeah, it really, and it and it makes that pitiful noise. Um, I leave the gut. And, and listen to the beautiful sounds. Yeah, no tools for me. So my thinking was I had to make fire for water. Um, I might as well kill a rat. Gives you something to do. So the way I've been thinking of it, Pale, is the, the stick that I always carry around is Clyde. I always carry one stick now. He's lighter than a rock. Uh, so I... I feel a little bit more justified carrying her own. All right, so while that's going, chop these little things up. That's, that's it. Don't do those. That makes it Somehow that makes them heavier. It makes no sense. Uh, make fish and tackle. Sweet. We're all dried out. So at this point, uh, we're hoping basically that the weather is good tomorrow morning. And if it should, we should be back in the the, the lodge. What's it, what's it called? The, the, the lake house by the end of the day. We need a lot more wood. And that was too much, I'm not sure. It, it doesn't matter. We're in a valley full of wood. I, I shouldn't feel bad about it. Maybe I should leave this out here for the... for the wolves to finish off. Good Christian burials. There's no shovel. So I, I often think about the fact that, like, a lot of times the snow should be kind of deep. You can't just build a fire on top of snow. It's going to melt. You have to dig down. Um, it, would, it would probably make the game pretty tedious, which is why uh, they don't do it. But it could be interesting to have to dig. Okay. I think we're going to leave all this water behind. 
because I can actually carry everything I'm carrying. But don't pick up anything else. Uh, pro tip, don't step in the fire because you will catch on fire. Oh, the reason I can... The reason I can carry everything is because I had dropped the pot. If you had a shovel, you could get sand and you could use it to put out a fire and save wood. That would be cool. Could also just put fucking snow on it. I don't understand why they don't let you put out a fire. I think that's, uh... None of these will ever be used. I... Just take the sea stuff, go to waste. All right. I think I'll. <laughs> it's a good question. I never actually never thought about it. Uh, <laughs> belly button. All right, I'm gonna hit the hay. It's gonna be it's gonna be too early when we wake up. Uh, I may just pass the time, but it's a nice morning. We'll get a head start. Yeah, the, the graphic that shows you passing the time actually shows cards, but you can't play them. Oh, this is it. Actually, we're almost full of, full of sleep. It's basically two in the morning. Um... Okay with that. The ledge that we're going to, I don't think has any wildlife, and there's no wildlife around here. And it's pretty bright. So I think I'm gonna go. Let's see. So 82 pounds. Oh god, what I eat another cattail stalk just to try to get the most we can out. So we're three, four, five, five and a quarter pounds over. That's a lot of pounds. That's a lot of pounds over.
I don't. Oh my God! What are we gonna put away? I've got to. I've got to lose something. But. I could just drop all the water and hope for the best. That feels risky to me. I guess we have to carry the last stick, huh? It's, yeah, it's just that the hatchets are so valuable. But it's so it's so heavy too. Um, well, I need point one one. All right. All right. So I think we're good. It's a beautiful, clear night. Nice and still. I, d I know, but I'm a hoarder, Pale. I need all the hatchets. What if one day I need a hatchet and I don't have one? What if one day that, that happens? Here we go. Don't think about the 77 pounds that you're carrying. Just keep your eye on the goal. All right, we've got this in the bag. What if you need a list of 30 pounds? Yeah. All right. Oh, I thought that was blood, and it's, uh, it's sticks that I dropped in order to kick, climb down the, climb down the mountain. Okay. Just gotta walk over this, uh, tree above certain death in the middle of the night. No, no big deal. Uh, I do this every day. God, imagine if you actually had like like balance physics where you had to hit left and right to keep balanced. That would be pretty intense. I won't is there something here? This just looks like a void. It's just a very dark rock. Okay, very nice. So now the only thing that can stop us are wolves. But not until we get out of this cave. Probably would be a whole lot prettier in the daytime.
Ya. Can't really <clears throat> see what that is. Oh, there's a cave up here too. Oh, this is the cave, isn't it? go back to the civilized world more or less Probably when I get to the other end, I'll take a little nap till it's till it's dawn, and uh, and then it's just wolves. That's it in our way. Half a pound of charcoal I could have dropped and uh, kept those extra five pentas. So disappointed. This is it. Oh, yeah, there's this. Steps to. I think that's going to be the hole. Yeah. All right, so. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. So. It looks like the lights are on, but there's no aurora in the in the little house. That freaks me the fuck out. So I'm gonna head back to the cave. Uh, and then we'll sleep here for the rest of the night. Like there's somebody waiting for me. God, can you I I don't know if you all played Minecraft, there was always this thing about this person, this thing named Herobrine or something in Minecraft, and that he would be waiting in your game. And it's just kind of a scary little goof. But, uh, holy shit, did it freak me out sometimes. Minecraft is horribly scary. A creeper comes up behind you and gets the drop on you. Goodness gracious. Is there a zombie feature? There's no zombie feature, but the the wildlife, the wolves, the bears, uh, become more aggressive. They're not afraid of fire. They'll attack you. Um, just they'll just keep attacking you. Um, I 
Herbrand, Steve's down brother in the early betas. Yeah, I, it. It's not that it scared me, but it put some idea in my head. And whenever I saw weird little things creeping around, it scared me. And, uh. Like, like, there's no one in this game, you know? Just, just me. There's no, there's not even NPCs. God damn it. Ah, it sucks to go out like this, but the house is right across the way, right? That's such, that's so dangerous. There's a mountain behind the house. If I really do walk straight, I should hit either the mountain or the house. Oh, you actually could spawn him? I didn't realize he even existed that that much. I think I'm gonna wait. I think getting lost... Well, actually, maybe... I'm not sure. Um, good luck with that, Sam Kim. Alright, I'm going for it. I can't help it, Doug. I have a problem. There it is. Six are... It's just... It's like in Minecraft. I hate dropping, um, dirt. I have chests and chests and chests full of dirt. But doesn't everybody? Okay. Take a little stop in here. I don't think there's really anything in here unless we drop something coming out. But we'll take a little stop. I still haven't opened that locker. This is a really nice place to live, honestly. You've got rabbits, you've got deer, you've got a workbench in your house, and a bed. Uh, the only shitty thing is that there's only two burners on the stove now. But that used to not really be a problem, because burners didn't matter. Oh, we're out of water. Um, Okay, I don't, I actually don't know this part of the map well enough to say which way to go, so I, I hate to go out in the wrong direction. So we'll stay here until it clears up. But essentially, the, the way that I always do, I go towards the mountain and then follow it to the train track. And that way it's hard to get lost. The hell was that? Did, did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? Because that sounded like pure brain. <laughs> like what the, what the fuck was that? Maybe it was a moose. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. It was like, <laughs> please tell me you heard that. Please tell me somebody heard that. And then it's like kicking at the ground. 
I think. I didn't see anything. So getting trampled by a moose is like the worst thing that can happen. Um, he'll break your ribs. And it takes like 25 days to recover. Um, something like that. Kevin Peters gave me a... There was no noise. There was... You're putting me on, Pale. There was a noise. There was a noise. And it was a moose. I think it was a moose. And now I'm really scared to go back out. I don't see any. Isn't so I have to say I'm actually I don't remember which way to go. I can't remember if you come in from this way. Like that looks like a mountain, but I don't think that's right. I think it's from across the pond. I don't see, I want to see a moose. And I don't want him to see me. That's important. If I could have my way. If I had my little way. I'd eat peaches every day. Sun soaking bulges in the shade. Uh, yeah, there's no, nothing over here, so. It's gotta be this way. It's slightly risky to walk around without water. I don't see. I don't see. 
anything that looks like a moose. I don't see anything. Uh. Okay, I think it's this way. Maybe. I, I don't have high confidence. Okay. I think I think it's this one. We've we've looted this guy. Max. Did you not hear something? Did you really not hear something, Doug? It was like and then it sounded like it was trampling. Go back and watch watch the tape. Oh my god. It was there. It was there. I'll make a clip of it. Because it was totally there. Oh my god, what if there wasn't anything there? Alright, I feel much better, like 85% that we're going the right way. <clears throat> we should hit a train track, and then we uh, hang a left. As moose sounds. Now that would be funny. I'll just, it looks kind of like Blizzard. We're getting ready to have a blizzard, I think. <clears throat> I'll start running, I think. There's always a wolf here. And he's gotten us many times. Hundred percent that we're on the right path, though. That's a security stick. Ah. I think we're good. Something really bad would have to happen, I think. So we're gonna chill out in this house for probably just a day or two. And then we'll head to Pleasant Valley, which we've, we've also already been to, but we'll be going a different way. <clears throat> There's often wolves around here too. Wow, there's still meat out here in the snow. Don't mind if I do. I think we killed something right before we left. Oh, 
All right. Let's check and see what all the other junk we've left here is. And add to it uh, junk we brought back. Take some food. Oh, we actually don't have a lot of cattail stalks. That's kind of a shame. That is a real shame. I, it's okay. I think it's okay. Oh, we did have a good one, but just the one. It's a shame. It's a shame because we're going to go out in the wilderness and I don't want to have to carry meat around. Uh, Alright, we're going to start using this. I guess. Because it's got two burners on it. Okay, now we, we did a reorganization here. So we've got... Ah, here's the cattail stalks. Everything's fine. We've got 140... Cattail stalks. Uh, things are going to be just great. Don't you worry, Doug. Don't you worry. Me too! Me too. I'm so glad that you can relate. We actually did leave ourselves with a whole lot of water, but it's plenty. We'll make more when we cook these. So let's see, do we have any meat in here that may have survived? Now, most of the stuff I'm going to be leaving here. Like, we're not going to be carrying all this with us to Timber Mountain. We're going to be traveling relatively light. So, the only thing we'll bring with us is food. Oh, yeah, we've got a hammer here. I think 40 matches and a fire striker should be enough. Okay. Oh, actually. I don't think I'm going to be carrying the gun with us. We might be able to leave as early as tomorrow. 
I don't. There's nothing we really need to do here. <clears throat> oh, that's full. Take a look at their clothes. Shouldn't be damaged. Uh, obviously, extra socks. Could repair those, maybe. Where's my lights? Oh, we separated these into feet, feet and hands, and then everything else. Sort of. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think, should we, should we carry the couch and or wool shirt. Clean this house? I wish. I wish you could. Um, I, ha I always had the same feeling in Fallout. The Fallout, like, three and... Uh, New Vegas. We should get rid of the junk. Let's let's uh let's just bulk up. We'll carry the good sweater with us. I'm gonna try to leave the moose hide satchel. I don't, I don't even know because if I carry it with us, it might get destroyed, and I don't. I don't want to travel heavy. And I feel like that will lead me to travel heavy, but uh, let's keep it. We'll, we'll pick up stuff. It'll it'll be fine. All right, where do we put medical supplies? Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so I'll take a thing of antibiotics. We'll leave all the rest behind. I'll take one stem. I'll take painkiller and Scroll wheel doesn't work. Okay, and I'll take uh, the tea. And I'm sure we'll find more when we're there. So. All right, looking pretty good. I'm feeling, feeling like we've almost almost lost all this weight, so I'll make fire, cook the stuff. Um, and then we'll think about getting out tomorrow morning. So probably today we'll get as far, hopefully, as Pleasant Valley. Uh, and then the next time we'll actually make it to to Temple Wolf, because I this is taking longer than I expected. If 
we stayed in one place, we could survive for so long, but it would be boring. I'm sure there's people who only want to make that day number go up. And they just uh, play it safe. Don't do it. So we'll be bringing this bad boy, definitely. Uh, we'll bring a good number of cattail stalks. Have seven arrows, I think that should be enough. Put some of these things in there. We're at 60 pounds and we're carrying um, a gallon of water, so I think we're about right. That's a pretty color. And with that, I think I'll leave it. <clears throat> Most of this will go downstairs, of course, we're not gonna carry a whole lot of water with us. Uh, okay, so to get to get uh, this this new route that I want to try, we have to go through the dam out a door that we haven't been through. And, uh, once we find a safe place, and if, if we find a safe place, shit, I can see. In Pleasant Valley, then that's probably where we'll stop today. Huh. 
Oh yeah, 54 pounds. We are light again. I'm gonna grab some food, some coffee. I'll leave just those. Okay, yeah, we've got we've got plenty of food, so I think that's enough. I think we don't need to take any. Now you might hear. that outside we have a bit of a, a bit of a blow. Oh, in a pile, I remember now. Ah, uh, yes, that's what this is. Two, three, four, five. Uh, six. See, we're super light. This blue side thing. Well, that, that is it's definitely a. It's definitely a blizzard. We, we could go. We follow the railroad tracks. It's kind of hard to miss, but there's always wolves. Actually, maybe this is a good time to go specifically because there won't be wolves. Um, let's see how bad the snow is. But yeah, is there anything else we want? This is cedar. Well, we're dropping, we're dropping most of the stuff here because uh, this is like, you know, central. And <clears throat> we're heading out with relatively small amount of stuff. I guess we already had cloth on us. So yeah, under 60 pounds. Which is pretty nice. I mean, there's a lot of people, if you watch other YouTubers and stuff, some people are ultra, ultra light and will stay around 30 pounds or even less. Um, and there's definitely advantages to it. But... Oh well. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. So let's take a peek at the snow. If the snow's not too bad, I think I'm going to go for it because I want to avoid the wolves. Um, I think we'll stay in. Are we really ready? Could bring...
Uh, so we'll be going mostly outside, so I don't think we'll need a crowbar from Clear Sky. Yeah, nasty now. I mean, like, I'm unsure whether I heard something, but I can be pretty confident that uh, I saw something. Pretty confident. Uh, I'm just glad we're just glad we're inside. Okay. So let's. There's a couple of things I can do. Nothing really super useful, but. These I should move to the other floor. Where's... Where's all of our ammo? We should have... We should have, like, over 20 bullets. Oh, here we go. Okay. There's 15 plus 3, almost 20. I really do feel like we're in. Uh, so the, let's see, in terms of the legs of the journey, we go to the dam, we could stay the night there. I actually don't really know what's after the dam, so we have to be a bit careful. Uh, I know that I, I've done it before and it's, it's in the back of my head somewhere. It's like a little lake. <laughs> I don't I don't remember what comes after that. I don't remember going out to Pleasant Valley. So we'll figure it out. I, I know it's it's um, where kind of ish where it puts you and if we can get to like a safe building uh you know we know that whole area with the road fairly well we spent we spent a couple of streams in pleasant valley Wow, still? No, no, it's dying down. All right. Hey. Here we go. Let's take the back way. I think there's less walls. It's okay, once we get to the dam, we'll dry off. Uh, so I think for a lot of people, this is the, their first area playing this game. It was the first area made uh, for the game. It's very nice. This lake is a nice point of reference. The railroad keeps you on track, so to speak. Haha. <laughs> Lord Almighty, we've got two wolves. This is the this is the road <clears throat> with fewer wolves. Stalker sucks. Did I say two? Oh, I meant three. There's three. There's three wolves.
Those wolves don't have anything on my ninja prowess. Alright, we've seen wolves here too, but hopefully those wolves are this wolf. If that makes sense. Fuck, I'm carrying something I'm not supposed to. I'm carrying, uh... Uh, arrow shafts. <clears throat> so we'll have to leave them at the dam. I'm sure we'll remember that we'll leave them at the dam. <clears throat> Somebody uh, write it down. Alright, it's about, it's about noon. I think we've had good luck with this with this left path. Um, but I'm gonna take the right path. I feel like it's quicker. Definitely quicker. All right, Wolf's we'll distracted by, well, his launch. That's four wolves we've avoided, and it's been less than an in-game hour. Um, I think they ramped up the difficulty on this map. This used to be the easy map. Right. So, two trailers on the right, and then the dam in front. And I think that we've left stuff in the trailers, too. We might want to take a look. Uh... Because I, I don't remember what. Because that's how we got the coastal highway. I'm coming back from the coastal highway. I like this track, this music. It reminds me of the movie Dead Man with Johnny Depp. Uh, and the soundtrack is uh, Neil Young. It's kind of weird. Contemplative guitar. Thoughtful and strange. It's very nice. Very nice soundtrack. It's a shame. It's a shame I've got a camera. Uh, on me because uh, I think I just lost my shit. Um, he scared the ever loving Jesus out of me. Uh, I was thinking about how nice and cool and calm and relaxing that movie's music was and he was just right there. Holy crap. Oh my god. My heart leapt out of my chest. Whew. Oh my god. Uh, well, I apologize if I startled any of you. But uh, I guess perhaps the wolf startles you as well. Yeah, I, I need to get some some fresh trousers. Good lord! 
So it's, it's really strange because typically the wolves see you from so far away that I, I guess I expect that when when they appear, they're going to be at a certain distance. Um, but when they appear and they're like that far from you, I didn't even have time to draw. Maybe if I had been paying attention, I might have had time to draw. But it's just so startled. It's so startled. Hey, Just Beer B. What's up, man? Uh, you just missed uh, me... Uh, wetting my pants, uh, metaphorically speaking. Um, whew. We just uh, we just had a run in with a wolf that scared the shit out of me. You were sleeping. Um, well, no big deal. What's up, man? Just, uh... Alright, he died. I'm gonna eat that motherfucker. I think I heard him over here. Did anybody... happen to catch sight of that wolf? So we're hobbling around, you, you may have noticed. You gave up alcohol. Well, I didn't know you gave up alcohol. But congratulations. Um, your sleep's better. So, I don't see where he died. I thought it was over here, but... This hobbling is actually kind of making me dizzy. Has it been uh, difficult? Just be a bit. I imagine. I imagine it would be. Um, a year or two ago, I tried losing some weight, and that was very difficult. Try not to eat as much. Oh, I heard him collapse. Oh, is that him? Or is that a rock? Kind of far away for that sound. Gosh darn it. It was difficult to give up alcohol because you're from a diabetes family? Is, uh, having diabetes related to drinking alcohol? I 
I'm not sure we've explored here because there's always been a wolf. So I'm gonna take a look. Ah, you're working every day. That makes sense. Keep uh keep keeping you busy. Man, there's nothing here. I'm actually really surprised. I thought that was might be a way up there, but somehow we've lost this wolf. After work is a bit difficult. No shop with peanuts. Yeah, it's the grocery store is always the hardest part when uh I was trying to lose weight. You'd, you'd go in and it's just like every aisle. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people say you've got to change your friends. When you... Um, when you change lifestyle habits. Well, I do believe this guy has just disappeared off the face of the earth. Oh, we could be up on one of these rocks. Gosh. All I know is we have this hungry belly. There comes the music again to lull me into the trance. All right, well, I guess there's going to be wolves. There's going to be more wolves in the future to eat. He didn't hurt our clothes, so that's that's the good thing. Um, but yeah, like people who try to quit smoking, it's hard to hang around smokers and, uh, and not smoke, I think. You, you used to smoke. Um, it's really hard. What if it's like right here? So if it wasn't snowing, we could use the the birds. Yeah. All right. We're going to have to stay in the dam anyway tonight. So what I'm going to do is take an hour here. Okay, well, maybe not here. And, uh, and that way, hopefully... Wait, did it clear up? I think this is clear enough for birds. Since Friday, you're vaping. I'm gonna give this up too. Um, yeah, vaping is interesting. I think I think there's a good reason to believe that it's safer than smoking. But it's it's still pretty new. What I I really don't like the fact that a lot of places have banned vaping indoors. Um, because you don't have the secondhand smoke problem. It's just, uh, it's just fear. Or even it, it's punitive. I don't know. A lot of things are safer than smoking. True. 
I can't, I can't judge. I don't, I don't smoke, but the way I look at it, um, you know, I've eaten enough Twinkies in my life that are not good for me. Um, and I enjoy it. So, as long as it doesn't hurt other people, which secondhand smoke is a problem, but I, I don't think you have that problem with, with the vaping. Alright, I've lost the wolf, Jesus Christ. Uh, they used to be same again. So we're headed to the dam now. I wanted to find the wolf that we killed so that we could eat, but I can't find him. So we're going to hobble to this dam and we're going to, uh, we're going to get close to where we need to be and then we're going to sleep for the night. But yeah, this is, this is the dam. And, uh, what I, what I forgot to say was there, there used to be a wolf in the dam. I think it was actually random, whether it was a wolf, but, uh, you know, a lot of times there'd be a wolf in the dam. People call him Fluffy. But he's not there anymore. Yeah, it's, it's, it was pretty... I, I can... That's a real shit-your-pants moment. No other building in the game has any animals, and so you feel safe, and all of a sudden, there's like a wolf. Um, I don't know. I don't know why they chose to do it, but but they did. So let's just grab just a bit of water. Grab a torch. Yeah, see, we're real hungry. Guess I could eat these things. Yeah, once you knew about it, it was cool. I think, um... I think this game... There's definitely metagame stuff that you have to think about when you think about balancing this game. Because the first time you get killed by Fluffy... Well, you learn. And then you don't come back in without a gun. But, um, but at the same time, it feels a bit cheap because, yeah, we're going out the one-way door. Yep. And I haven't done it in a long time, but I'm pretty sure we're going to head to uh, Pleasant Valley. And that's, uh, that's next to Timberwolf Mountain. Well, if there was a free pelt, you can kill it with your hands. I don't, so I don't know how long ago you played, but when I, when I first started playing, um, combat was a lot harder than it is now. I think that I don't know. There was something timing involved. You had to press it and charge something up, and then let it go to be a certain a certain strength attack. It was, it was really weird. Now you just click the click. Um, but essentially, wolves always killed me when I first started playing. Uh, maybe I just sucked the minigame. But... Inflict bleed damage by fighting away a wolf. So that's true now. Uh, whenever you fight off a wolf with a, a bladed weapon, uh, the wolf will bleed out. Uh, I think it's guaranteed. It doesn't happen if you use a crowbar or a hammer, but it, if you use a knife or a hatchet, it always bleeds out.
How did we miss this? We've been here like four times. This antiseptic just right next to them. Alright, so this, yeah, this door leads outside and it locks behind you. There is a way back in the dam. But, uh, I think we're going to stay here for tonight. We don't need water, so I don't need to make a fire. don't need a fry bar, because I forgot, and I don't take notes. So... Let's just, uh, let's just hang out. There's really nothing to do. We've searched this place twice. Uh, I'll be it without a crowbar. Yeah, so if you go out the, the, if you go out and you want to come back in, you have to cross over the bridge. You have to cross over the river, I think. And you wind up coming in through that broken window above. Uh, behind us. Yeah, I mean, imagine, like, if there's a blizzard out there, you're locked out in a blizzard, can't find your way back in. Like, this game sets up... That's what's so great about games like Dwarf Fortress and, uh... uh Rimworld. I think... Oxygen not included to a lesser extent does this. They set up conditions where stories happen. And some narrative develops. And it's completely... It's completely yours. Something happened, causing you to do something, causing you to blah blah blah. Yeah, I, it's, it's nice. I think that's a good game. That's what that's what they should focus on, I think, with this game. This emergent narrative. So we're just wasting time. I want a little bit of light before we head out. That'll do it. And let's hope there's no blizzard. Oh, it's gorgeous out here. So, yeah, if, if you make your... <laughs> it's, it looks crazy, but if you make your way across this ledge, um, there's a way back in on the other side. Good luck. We don't really need scrap metal. It, it, it really does go back in outside. You just, just have to be careful you don't slip. You jump down. That, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, I don't know what can spawn here, but there are little pockets of stuff. Mostly scrap metal. But who knows what else. Oh, it's just, it's absolutely perfect today. 
let's take advantage of it while we can. So we want to make it through this little, this is a connector region, it's not a full map, it's a small, uh, small area. And I, I think there, there is at least one wolf. It's also deer. There's, I think that's a deer, a dead one. Little nooks and crannies to explore, but we're, we're going to try to make our way through. Yep, so there's our, uh, there's our bad boy. hard to avoid it. <clears throat> Unless we can walk up here or something. It's kinda it's kinda coming right for us. Fun. Show them uh Sure, I'm Stalker, all right. There's a there's a game called Stalker. That's really interesting. A whole series, actually. And, uh, they mostly belong to this genre that I'm a big fan of, uh, which I forget the name of because it's kind of a weird, a weird. Genre. Oh man, look, there's cattails, but there's a wolf. Nice. Um, but games like the original Deus Ex, um, games like Thief. So it's a it's a it's a world with rules and and moves, and they uh, they lead to emergent behavior because they combine in really interesting ways. Um, I really like stuff like that. Let's see what's up here. I don't think this is the right way. This could be how to get to the corpse. Looks like it. Um. We happy if you. turn back, but they have an arrow, which is fantastic. Um, I'm going to leave the meat. So, yeah, we have a few. I heard that it was going to be released as well. Um, but also that they had a lot of trouble with the uh, censorship because it's, it's really stupid in, in because they're showing this drug that the population has to take under law that essentially invokes docility and contentment so that they don't realize how bad the situation is. It's kind of 1984-ish. Um, and sometimes you have to take it in order to convince the authorities that you are behaving yourself, but it's a ruse. But this, um, the ratings boards are saying, oh, that's taking drugs and getting a benefit from them. And so therefore it's, you know, whatever, rated triple X, which is so stupid because it's, it's, it's nothing. It doesn't, 
That's not what's happening. But... Yeah, I've been looking forward to that for a while. That's uh, That looks like it's going to be a neat game. Starker's Tags, Ego Shooter, Survival Heart. Um, yeah, I can't think of the name that I'm thinking of. If that makes sense. Okay, that's just for decoration, I guess. Stock 2 was announced for 2021. It's so, that's so long away that what purpose does it even serve to announce it? I can't, I can't be excited for the next three years. The original Stalker had a lot of bugs, but uh, it was still a pretty good game. I think the same is true for Deus Ex, really. Deus Ex was just amazing, but it was a little long. It had a lot of bugs. But boy, did it uh, capture people's imagination. Oh! Oh. No, I thought it was a bridge. Never mind. I take that O back. Making good time. It is not even noon. Have you ever played Thief? Thief, uh, Thief 2 was my favorite. Is this an instance? Oh. So before we explore this cave, I think this cave goes... I think. I think this cave goes to the next zone. I want to... Take a peek over here. This is probably just death. Just the ice cracks. Can't be bad if there's cattails, right? played the first thief. I'm not sure if I ever played the first thief, so I can't say anything about it either way. But, uh, it, it was just, uh, Thief 2, is, I mean, it's probably similar. I don't think the third thief was as good, and the fourth thief, I think, was bad. But, Basically, you have different kinds of arrows that you could do different things with, like wet arrow or fire arrow or something, or quiet arrow. And then little things happen that obeyed all these rules. And stuff kind of happened that was interesting, like things would emerge. Oh, dear. We've got a uh, person who got caught under this big tree. Ooh, wow, that's pretty.
Malachi Tessar. It's kind of hard to see up there. Any. I have this suspicion that there's a drop off. here. Quickly head back to the other path. Oh. Three paths. Okay, that's not a path. Good. Another can. These cans are just all over here. Angeline's came. I love you ten times. is uh, really struggling here. I think we're going to have to light a flare. And we already know how to kind of weird that it lets you read this. We already know how to cook the best. Cook, cook level five, chef level five. So drop that. I definitely forgot about this cave. Not really. I'm just tired of the cans. All right, I'll do. Start following the left wall. Surely that's not a bad idea. In the middle of the. Oh, got to climb. So this is different. This is very different. Or it's just a little hollow. Oh. It's not scary at all. Here. I get the feeling that there's a lot of stuff in this cave that we're we're missing, but I think we've made it to I'm hoping Pleasant Valley. Sure enough. How do we miss this? I guess I can see how we missed it. Um, all right, so my understanding is that this cave is on the east wall, and we need to head west to get to the highway. So... Let's 
it's not even noon yet. We're cooking great. Is this the road? This isn't this This isn't the highway. Highways a loose. So there's moose markings on these trees up here. See that? All torn up by a moose. So I don't think we've been here before. There's like a lake. This, we did not hit a highway, so. Um, this is what's, this is what we in the biz call lost. Looks like a flare's going now. Can you drink it? I guess it's not really ruined if you can if you can drink it. It's a bit of a misnomer. Okay. My uh, my grandmother says roin. Kind of just, Jesus Christ. Kind of just want to find the road. So I'm going to go try to get on something high. There's more moose markings. Surely we can see something over here, right? Wind starting to pick up. Where? 
the hell is this? Wait, 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 wait. Does that mean the signal tower is over here? No, yes? I don't see it. I'm gonna keep going if I can. So it doesn't it doesn't look quite right. But I'm gonna push this way. It's got there's yes, there's a bridge. There's a bridge, like a real bridge. Wow, we are really out in the in the boonies. I guess. Oh, thank goodness. There's a signal tower, so now I know exactly where I am. So that's really far back there. We didn't we didn't explore nearly that far back. So no wonder we didn't find it. In my head I'm expecting a moose, and that thing had Clompy clomps? I forget the technical term. Booms. And so I thought it was a moose. Alright. So there was a bear over there, vaguely. Yeah. And then there's like a like a dead dude. With light. A broken down barn looking thing. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. I know where I am. So we can we could head to the farm. The homestead, I think it's called. There's probably stuff that we left there that, you know, we could consolidate. We're trying to get essentially all the way across. But I think I'll take the road to do it, so we'll be moving that way. Let's try to do both in one day. We'll head to the homestead and then immediately head to the barn where we mostly lived. Kind of surprised that we're back here. I would have bet that we'd have died before coming back. half a mind to shoot this deer so that we have something to eat. This is 
that's a bad idea. Yeah. Ninety percent, not too bad. I think it was at ninety five, so Alright, maybe we left ourselves some food in here. I doubt it. Some water. Head to the to the barn next. Um, I I feel like we took everything out of the barn. There's like combat boots somewhere, but I don't remember. see it. That's nice. I saw some crows flying overhead, so I thought maybe there was going to be bad weather, but... should have actually carried that sleeping bag. That's sh I should have left it in this place um, as like a permanent bed. So I don't think it has a bed, right? Oh, we slept in the truck. That's right. Wolf on the left. This is just the best weather we can hope for. <clears throat> so my understanding is that ish Timberwolf Mountain is that way. Like here. Um I think we can find it if we take the road and then start hugging the mountain at some point. That's kind of my Not so great. Uh, I didn't. I didn't want to ruin too much of the surprise. Is that that's a wolf? Early enough, I might even try to get to the little house we stayed at today. See how this wolf goes.
surely we left food somewhere. We stayed here for maybe three streams, I think. Ah, uh, yes, this is what makes this place horrible. I don't think that's useful. Uh, we'll turn into sticks upstairs. I mean, How much wood do we have? Nobody but to blame. Nobody to blame but myself. Okay. Yeah, so I kept stuff in here, but that's empty. Oh, I started keeping stuff in the locker upstairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Remember, I like the steel trap. Alright, here's these combat boots I was talking about. Got a storm lantern. I think I will actually take that. A nice torch. Some cloth. We kept food in here, but there's, there's nothing there. Shit, I can't see. So the line's really heavy. I mean, line's really light. <clears throat> so we can carry it around without worrying about it. It's early enough that I'm going to try to get to the house, which is our first little place we stayed here. And then uh, that's going to be it for the stream. And we'll start there in Brooklyn, September, Wolf Mountain. Okay, first of all, What the fuck? First of all, zombie wolf. Second of all, live wolf. My mind exploded. So we happened to kill this wolf right outside the door. And every time we go out the door, it was it's alive and then it drops. I kind of thought that corpse would be gone by now. Um, but 
Holy shit. Absolutely. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Even knowing it was there, it still sent shivers down my spine. God. Leave that nightmare behind. So, this house we're heading to, there were also wolves around it. This is a pretty inhospitable region. to the left. Okay. So, I think there's another bridge. Maybe. Should be a convenience store on the right. Bridge, and then houses. made really good time, considering uh, I didn't know where we were coming out exactly. Never really explored up there. Um, so, essentially, we're starting to take health damage. Um, it's really, really slow with sleep, I think. But, it means that we're no longer regenerating health, so... Let's say we get, uh, cold, or we get attacked. We would just keep losing health. Um... sort of designed to be a panic multiplier. Same with drinking and uh, with hunger. Thirst, thirst, and hunger. Uh, it's really slight, but it's like a pixel down. You have to keep everything in the white to survive. 
All right, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think everything is going to work out. We might have a wolf encounter, but that, that's it. Uh, we looted the shit out of this place. There's just nothing left. I actually don't remember this being a house. Um, no. No, no, no. Oh, it's not a house. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I think the temperature one is the worst. If your temperature is red, you can see it going down. You can see the health going down. But the other ones aren't aren't so drastic. They just keep you from healing. Um, however, there actually there's other penalties I forgot to mention. Our max weight is 44 now instead of uh, 60, and that means we walk slower than we would have if we if we weren't in the red. It's a lot of little stuff that just pushes you to pushes you towards failure. Oh, very nice. Not didn't even see one. So uh, this this was the first place we stayed in the region. We've got all sorts of nice little things waiting for us. Let's see. Let's see if we have anything in the fridge. Freezer's empty. Got our, we have a rifle, we have a lantern, all sorts of goodies. Apparently these socks decayed while we were gone. So this is where I'm gonna leave it. Next time we will uh, we will make it to Timberwolf Mountain or die next time. It's uh it's just across this map, so um, thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, Pale, for moderating very carefully and diligently. Uh, I will see you all another night.